You're tuned in to Ask the Master Auto Technician. Car questions? Get answers right now. Call 850-763-0555. James Auto Center. We fix it right. Guaranteed. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. All right, welcome back to our second half of our show, Ask the Master Auto Technician. On this Thursday morning, I got Brian Armstead calling all the way from Maryland, I presume. There's no telling where he's calling from. He may be in California. He may be in Maryland. He may be in Canada. He may be in Miami. You just never know where this guy is. He's always out driving cars. Now, tell me what part of the country are you in today, Brian? Well, actually, I'm, I'm in Maryland, okay. but I'm on my way to uh, to the eastern shore of Maryland. I'm a member of the uh, former president of the Washington Automotive Press Association, oh. and today is our rally, our oh. annual gathering, where all of the journalists can get together. The manufacturers bring in over 50 cars. We're going to have 150 people down on the eastern shore test driving everything from uh, Hyundai uh, Sonata to the uh, Bentley Bentayga, the three hundred six thousand dollar SUV. Whoa! So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, been a bit of a chaotic morning, and I'm trying to scramble to get my stuff together here. But um, it's all good. I do have a, a change of uh, sure. vehicles that I told you about oh, okay. this morning. Um, the uh, Ford uh, uh, Escape EcoBoost. We'll do that on another day. Oh, okay. I failed to um, realize that I had a. Uh, another vehicle that I just thought was fantastic is the uh, BMW X5. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tell me about one, that. Tell me about that. Now, this one was the X5 X-Drive 40E, which means that it's a plug-in. Uh, it's got hybrid technology, and you can plug it in and operate on battery power for, um, you know, a certain amount right. of time. Right. Now, the, uh, the X5 sport activity vehicle, now, it's, it's interesting, you know, when, when this so-called sport activity vehicle came out, it was the BMW that coined this term. Hmm. Everybody else prior to that had called their vehicles sport utility vehicles. Right. But as you know, BMW is known as the ultimate driving machine. So they say, hey, let's come up with something a little bit different. Let's call our vehicles sport activity vehicles, which is it's a pretty good um, moniker for this vehicle yeah. as it handles really, really well. It's just impressive on the road. Mm -hmm. uh, the base price of the BMW X5 comes in at about $55,000. The X5 X-Drive 40E has a base price of forty. i am sorry, $62,100. Okay. And um, it, it's got a, a real cool... MPA, EPA, MPG is 56 miles per gallon. Wow. And when you think think about it, you have a big SUV that weighs, you know, probably 5,000, 5,500 yeah. pounds. And, it, um, and I'm not sure of the weight, so I may be off on that. Still, one. still, it's a big have, car. It, this is not yeah. a lightweight car. No, it's not a lightweight car. It's a lot, of, a lot of steel, a lot of, you know, features. 56 rated MPG equivalent. That's a combination of electric power and gasoline power, folks. Yeah. That's with a 444, 40, 445 horsepower engine. That's really impressive. It's a, <laughs> a twin power turbo. It's a two liter twin power turbo uh, four cylinder. Mm -hmm. And um, it's got, you know, the Venos technology, which is a variable valve uh, mm -hmm. gear, the very variable valve. Timing. Uh, tick, timing. Thank you. Thank you so That's much. It's okay. Sorry. It's <laughs> early in the morning. <laughs> it is early. I'm trying to get my tech, all right. tech, stuff, straight, my tech stuff straight here. And it's got Steptronic automatic transmission, which means you can manually shift this thing if you so desire to do so. comes with the X-Drive all-wheel drive system, which is really a great handling system from anything from down to the 3 Series all the way up to the 7 Series. When you see X-Drive on the back of a BMW, it means you have all weather superiority mm. in terms of you know the uh, the the handling of a car, and that's important now, people where you down live. In Florida, yeah, yeah, you lead that up there uh, where you live, not where we live. Well, well yeah. I, I beg to differ with you, Dave, <laughs> okay? Because unless you live in the Sahara Desert, uh -huh. okay, well, you you definitely would need it in the Sahara Desert. But the point I'm trying to make is that wet weather. It's just as evil in terms mm. of handling as um, as icy weather true, because true, people true. tend to go really fast in wet weather. You're right. You know, about they think that. they have these SUVs and mm -hmm. you know they know what they're doing because they've been driving in the rain for fifty years. No, <laughs> um, you know the added traction and added stability of an all-wheel drive platform will help you no matter the weather. Now, true, yeah, there's true. a mile per gallon penalty for it. There's a weight penalty for it. But you better believe uh, two of the four cars that I own are all-wheel drive vehicles. I have a, uh, a 2004 Volvo 
S80. Mm -hmm. My daughter's uh, primary car, and I have a uh, 2003 Mercedes S430 Formatic. Mm -hmm. um, one day I'd like to talk about good used car buys because many yeah. people wouldn't think of that Benz as a good used car buy, but I'll, I'll give the reasons why I think that yeah, it we, is. We have Stephen Lang that oh. comes on and talks about that sometimes. We'd love to have you about good used cars like the Mercedes and things like that. Now, on this BMW yeah. right here, the all-wheel drive vehicle, this X5 you're talking about, it's a lot safer mm -hmm. when it's when it's wet outside. You know, you have more control, more stability. You have 56 combined blending between electric power and engine uh, internal combustion engine ice power and that's pretty impressive and you probably have what maybe 30 40 miles just on electric alone plug-in electric if you had to which is most people don't travel that much when they go to work i, I would think so i don't have i should have right. looked that up that's before okay. um before i came on air but I, again it's been a little bit a little bit nuts this morning yeah, i couldn't I, find I, any of my material <laughs> on the uh Ford, yeah. Ford hey, it, it's so, okay man, <laughs> but I think that's because the, if I'm not mistaken, where you live, how far do you have to drive? Well, I don't know if you drive to work, but most people where I live don't drive more than 10, 15 miles to work one way at the very Well, least. I'm retired, but when I did work, mm -hmm. uh, well, you know, I'm retired from a full-time uh, job. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've been doing this uh, automotive uh, review thing for 20 years mm -hmm. in a part-time capacity. So now I guess I do it full-time. But yeah. uh, my, my full-time job uh, gave me, uh, it was 12 miles. 12 miles. You know, so yeah. this would work out great for those people that, you know, if you have a plug-in hybrid, you drive it to work, you know, and you get there to work. If you wanted to, plug it back in at work, you know, especially if you have well, solar at your house or at your shop or whatever and go back the next day. I can, a little, a little deeper delving okay. here, and I see that um, the uh, X40E uh, combined, has combined 308 horsepower, not 445. Oh. I was looking at one of the higher performance models, I right. apologize for that, right. and it gives you 14 miles, 14 of emission-free drive. Okay, 14 so, miles, okay, a little, that's, that's seven miles each way, that's a little bit less than, you know, a Prius or, but yeah. you know, it's a lot heavier than a Prius. Yeah, so. it's twice as heavy as a Prius, a Prius is, you know, it's like a skateboard compared to this thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, you know, you, you won't be able to plug it in when you get to work, but, I mean, even if you do, um, you know, you'll still be, you'll still be saving money. Absolutely. So, um, I like this new technology. I mean, I you know, they've already forecast that the oil supply, the fossil fuel oil supply will run out by 2058 or something like that. So, you know, Europe has already, one country in Europe has already banned the internal combustion engine. Really? I didn't know that. In, uh, when is that? It's What's... starting in 2030, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll look that up for you. But um, if you just Google that uh, later yeah, okay. today, one country has banned the internal combustion engine by 2030. So Ooh. it's a European country, and you have to have these type of technologies to be refined by the time these deadlines and these, you know, critical deadlines start to uh, to take place. Mm -hmm. You know, BMW has been a leader in regenerative braking technology. Even their gasoline models have, some of them have a, uh, have the, uh, the BMW drive dynamics where you can regenerate mm -hmm. power just on the braking, which right. not only saves brakes, but it provides, you know, power to for your air conditioning and oh, power yeah. for all of the other ancillary uh, luxury uh, accoutrements that you'll find in any any BMW. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm very impressed with uh, with the way that they have uh, they, that they've done, you know, their whole their whole process. They've come um, a long way in the, the last few years. I know they have because this technology, I think BMW, along with Mercedes, they're committed towards autonomous driving. They're going to be working on that as well, but they're, they're light well, years there's ahead. a lot of companies. Yeah. There are a lot of companies that are committed to autonomous driving. Volvo yes. has cars running around Pittsburgh right now. Really? Uh, which are autonomous driving cars. So wow. you know, sooner or later, everybody's got to jump on that bandwagon. So, um, you know, some companies are a little further ahead. Some, you know, a lot of companies have more money to be further ahead. So yeah. that's kind of the uh, the thing. Now, inside, you know, you get the full, you either love BMWs inside or you think they're, you don't love them. You know, <laughs> if you're an Audi guy or Mercedes guy, you may not be as impressed with the BMW interior as some others. But they're very straightforward. They're businesslike. Everything is in the right place. Mm -hmm. You've got high-quality leather, high-quality metal, plastic. Uh, not a lot of flash like you have with an Audi, mm -hmm. but everything works just right. Their iDrive telematics that, controller. I love that, that iDrive. Yeah, it used to be the worst in the business, and now <laughs> it's, it's among the best in the business. You know, it uh, still takes a little while to finagle. Like sometimes when you get caught up in the uh, radio, you have to 
it's a little annoying that you have to go back to do certain things. But after a while, after you know, it, a couple it becomes, of days, it's come second nature. After a while, it really does. Really, yeah. But you know, I've got a seven day orientation window <laughs> on each of these cars, <laughs> so I try to keep that in perspective because. If I were to keep this car for a year, yeah, it would be fun after a while. But for for seven days, sometimes I'll get in a car and it's a little frustrating mm. because it's not like I expected it to be. Mm. You know, like some other manufacturer would do it. Okay, so, I, that uh, makes sense. You know, a lot of, yeah, that makes sense. That learning a lot of curve. Good stuff included here. I know I'm probably running out of time. We got about two minutes. We got two minutes left. What we have two minutes? We have two minutes. Yeah, two minutes exactly on here. So two minute warning. Here two we minute go. warning. Here we go. BMW has what's called their ultimate service program. Yeah. Now, for the first four years of 50,000 miles, all factory recommended services are zero. Engine oil, zero. Brake pads, zero. Drive belts, brake discs, inspection services, fluids, you name it. Zero. Unless you don't have to pay for anything unless they're tires. If you burn up your rubber, that's on you. But um, otherwise, uh, you, BMW has you covered for the first Four years of 50,000 miles. Now, I've heard of That's oil really changes. Impressive. Yeah, I've heard of oil changes before, but not belts, not brakes, not a Brake fluid. Disc, yeah. Yeah, I've never yeah. heard of them doing that before. This Is this new uh, or something? I've no, 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 no. They've, been, uh, they've had this program out for at least five or six oh, years Oh, I had now. no idea. Maybe, well, maybe more, yeah. I just hadn't, I didn't That's realize That's why a lot that. of people, they'll lease a BMW for five years, and then at the end, boom, they'll get another one. So yeah. they never have to worry about maintenance costs on a car. They just... Pay that note every month and keep it keep it moving. Well, it doesn't do me uh, much good when they do that, but <laughs> I like it when they bring bring it here for maintenance. But that's good for those people that don't want to do maintenance. <laughs> well, we got about forty five seconds base. left. Forty five seconds okay, left. Okay, sixty two one hundred base premium package is twenty five five fifty, which includes a whole lot of good stuff. Anchoring its wheels are standard. Dynamic stability control. All the safety doodads are here on BMW. Great ambient lighting, park distance control, rear view cameras, you name it, it's on board here. Total price is tested, including 995 destination, 67345. Got to give a big thumbs up to BMW. It's an incredibly safe vehicle. It's a lot of fun to drive. And, and you can put a whole rack of stuff behind it. It's got great uh, storage capacity. What's the website? Uh, We're out of time. Business. What's the website? BMWUSA.com. All right, BMWUSA.com. Brian, thank you so much. Look forward to next 30. I'll make sure I send this to you by YouTube. Thank you so much for calling, sir. Oh, okay. All right, bye-bye, everybody. James Auto Center. We fix it right,